um, we will consider uh, several mean from analysis. And uh, the statement Cesaro mean is written here uh, as the blue marked text. So if the sequence AN converges to A and BN is defined to be uh, 1 over N summation of all AIs. So BN is defined to be that. Then BN converges to A. So that's Cesaro mean. And uh, we want to uh, use this uh, to show that uh, the possible entropy converges as well. Uh, it converges to uh, conditional entropy rate. So let's take a look at this picture. So AN converges as N goes to infinity. So we can choose any epsilon greater than zero so that after a certain um, N, let's say capital N, which is function of epsilon, so if you make this epsilon smaller, this one will be larger, right? After that, the sequence AN has converged, right? That means that it uh, comes inside this bound plus epsilon minus epsilon around, the zero, uh, around A, and it never comes out beyond this point. So for n greater than capital N epsilon, a n minus a, the absolute value a n minus a is always smaller than epsilon. That's what we mean by convergence. A n converges to A. So remember this picture. And the next page I will prove. So statement to prove is if A n converges to A and B n, which is defined to be this, then B n converges to A. So B n is um, average of AIs, okay? Then BN converges to A. So how to prove? For any epsilon greater than zero, we consider BN minus A. So BN is defined to be this. So I, I substitute the definition, all right? And then I bring this constant outside one of them. And uh, uh, I have uh, absolute value of summation. But uh, here I will have absolute value brought inside, okay? So I, so I have here summation of I running from one to N, and then I need to have uh, one over N. So that's what I have done. So I can bring this together like this, right? And uh, uh, once I have done that, then I can uh, probably I'll, 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 I better write it one more time. Maybe. So here I use, 
your a or one of n sum of i running from one to n a like that okay so i replace this with that one and then i can have one over n outside right then what i have the next one is one of n sum of i mean absolute value running from one to n i minus a okay so that's what i have and then i i will bring this absolute value inside the uh, summation so inequality goes this way okay once i have this then i'm done basically then remember previous picture right so i will break this up into two summations right this one running from one to capital n epsilon and this one from cap, uh, capital n plus one to n okay same summation okay so this is exactly the same as this and uh, since this n epsilon is a finite and uh, this difference is also i mean this summation is finite okay this summation is finite number okay finite and then um, in uh, in this case here each one of them is uh, less than or equal to epsilon okay so i i uh, replace this with the epsilon and then uh, i then i can cancel these two so i have an epsilon okay and uh, i have something finite that does not depend on n and uh, i am dividing it by n so if i th this is true for any n so if I let n goes to infinity, this goes to zero. And then all I have left is epsilon. So that means Bn has converged to A. So I have proven the Cesaro theorem. So once I have proven this, I replace uh, this one with the conditional entropy rate so h prime okay um, so this one is that one this is conditional entropy rate which is like that and then Bn, I will use for possible entropy. Right? But using the, the chain rule of entropy, that one can be written as one of n, sum of i running from one to n, entropy of uh, Xi one two Xi minus one. Right? So that is my AI. This one is defined to be A N. All right, so uh, having uh, proved the Cesaro mean, I have proved that uh, uh, conditional entropy rate, which is this, converges to A, which is the uh, A H prime X, and uh, uh, using the Cesaro mean, that means uh, uh, possible, possible entropy also converges to entropy rate. 
Okay, so so that's the result that I have approval. All right, so by applying the Cesaro mean, we know the possible entropy converges to entropy rate. Okay. So the implication for this is for a stationary process, there are about this many typical sequences of length n. Probably a typical set is close to one. Uh, n times h, the entropy rate, amount of bits are uh, needed to represent the length and typical sequence. Okay, so that's the um, result uh, considering entropy rate. So entropy rate, uh, in here, entropy rate of a Mar uh, Markov chain, stationary Markov chain. So possible entropy rate is entropy rate equal to that. And uh, this one, by definition, is limit h xn xn minus to x1, right? But uh, since it is a Markov chain, it can be written this way, and it is a stationary, so it can be written this way. Then all you need is um, a, a transition matrix to determine this and the initial distribution. Okay, so uh, since it's a stationary distribution, initial distribution is also the same as the stationary distribution. So all you have is this. So you can calculate this. And uh, here is the uh, example of the two-state Markov chain. Uh, so he, this part is a typo. So I have uh, typed, up, typed it up. You really type, up, type it up, and uh, uh, by the definition of conditional entropy, uh, it, it came out to be this, okay, or this, okay. Since you have done the homework, uh, I will not cover this one, uh, this calculation. You can do it on your own. 